And what have we got for you this week? The Bell Pub in Evercreech, a dodgy clock, a wall of mobile phones, drone shots, and a pub stopover at the Horse and Groom in Westbury. We're setting off on our next adventure to a place called Evercreech. I'm very excited to be here in Evercreech today. It's a village that was once known as Evercris and it was in the Doomsday Book of 1086. It's got one church and two pubs and I'm very, very interested in one pub today. It's called the Bell Inn. And we're at the, the Bell Inn. I'm going to pop in there and have a pint of beer and maybe something to eat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we are in the Bell Inn. Evercreech. In Evercreech. Mm. Ellie wanted to come here because it's a long story, but basically she used to meet your dad here, didn't I you? I did, yes. A long time ago when my dad didn't live with my mum and me, I used to come here two or three times a year and see my dad in this very pub. And it's changed a lot. I don't <laughs> think I've been here since he died. In fact, I know I haven't. So... It's like a real trip down memory lane. So we're just going to have a quick little meal here. Yep. And then uh, we're heading up to Westbury, where we're staying at a pub called The Horse and Groom. Mm. Overnight. Pub stopover. Yeah. First, first pub stopover we've done, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you it know is. us, we tend to be the old wild campers, but we're doing something a little Trying different. Trying something different this week. This time, yeah. Going to have a look round Evercreech, though, aren't we? Before yeah. Before we go, have a little walk round, take you with us. And as you can see... Luna's had a haircut. <laughs> she seems quite chilled out in here, which is surprising, really. Well, it is quiet, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's quiet here. Yeah. Mm. Mine's lying down, look. Can you see her? Lying down. <laughs> <laughs> They're not stressed, are they? They're, They're, wait They're waiting for their chips. They always have to have some of our chips. Whenever. They're not having too many. <laughs> <laughs> They're obviously camper van people because there's a <laughs> camper van here with BE11LNN, Berlin. <laughs> Which is good. And there's Merlin down there. So now we're going to have a little look round Evercreech. The church clock is really interesting. If you look at it, you'll see there's a number nine, and then where the 10 is, it goes straight to 11. Then after that, there are two number 12s. How weird. How on earth is going to make a clock like that? I think I know the answer to that, actually. Local rumours suggest that the person who actually paid for the clock to be made was instructed by his wife that he always had to be home from the pub by 10 o'clock. So he was quite smart really because he ensured that the 10 o'clock number was missing and that way he couldn't be in any trouble with his wife. Well it could be that, but it could be that he used up his last number 10 on his previous job and he just happened to have a spare number 11. 12! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The Church of St Peter dates from the 14th century and is a Grade 1 listed building. The sounds of the bells at Evercreech Church were used in the opening credits of BBC Songs of Praise for many years.
We had hoped to do a bit more filming around Evercreech, but unfortunately the uh, the heavens opened up and uh, we never got to do that. So we headed off for our pub stopover at Westbury. The Horse and Groom pub where we stayed is absolutely lovely and um, they parked us up at the, the bottom of the car park so it was quite quiet. We found the pub in the Brit Stop directory uh, and I phoned them beforehand to make a booking. And as you can see from the playground here, they do cater for children as well. There's a sign where we're staying saying danger crocodiles. I didn't believe them, but here they are. And look, these over here. Come on in. We're just off to the pub for something to eat now. Well, how was it? Beautiful. Nice bit yeah, of doom. Look at that. Sure. It's got his name on it. And there's my violet gin. Gorgeous. We got so excited having a lovely time that um, we actually forgot to film the food, which was really delicious, but sorry about that. It's very seldom that Ellie drinks, but after finding this drink at the pub at lunchtime, she couldn't resist. The table service in the pub was really, really good, and they even had little games to play on the table. But my favourite thing was this wall of mobile phones. It was brilliant, and uh, I bet every one of you can spot one of the phones that you once had. There were about three or four of mine. The pub is an independently operated family restaurant and a traditional pub. They also do bed and breakfast as well. Their motto sums it up really and it says our aim is to simply to provide traditional service to our customers in a comfortable safe environment and to have lots of fun. So after our very tasty dinner I had a vegan burger and Graham had a chilli we decided it was quite important for us to walk it off. So this is All Saints Church in Westbury. Westbury's really nice, isn't it, Gray? Yes, lovely, isn't it? Lovely little town. Yeah, or village. I don't know, I think it's probably a town, not a village, but some gorgeous houses. Look at these. It's beautiful. The high street bit gets quite busy, I think. Because the roads are very narrow. But look at this. A lovely place to walk the dogs. Very peaceful. Some birds just flew in there. You can hear them cooing. I don't know if they're doves or pigeons. Pigeon. Are they pigeons? I only got a glimpse of them. As they flew in up there. Oh, hang on a minute, there we go. Some more of the fellas. Were they crows? Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Thirty-five Church Street, early 19th century building, incorporating part of a medieval house within the manor of Westbury Chantry. Henry Pinninger established his solicitor's practice here in 1819. And it's part of the Westbury Town Council, Wiltshire Council and Heritage Society. Graham's found a little road he wants to walk down. We'd have liked to have had a look around the church, but unfortunately it was all locked up because as you can see, it's getting dark.
It was great doing our first pub stopover and there was something for everyone. A nice beer for Graham, a look at a church and something for the docks. And what about the gin for Ellie? We're going to wrap this one up, but what about next time? Maya climbs up the white horse. The dogs have great fun running around at the top of the hill. And we get to our group meetup location. Catch you next time.